Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today I was browsing the forum on the Keen Software House, and I came across this weapon. Now, it's something I like to call a thermal torpedo. The concept is that it melts through its ships. Now, if you want to read about this, I'll link the description, the actual thread on it. And there's a lot of other awesome items on that to have a look at. So the concept is a gravity cube and then two gyroscopes followed by a generator and a gravity generator. So what actually happens is it causes this to thrust, allowing it to be powered and cut through the armor of a, well, light armor of a light ship. The only issue is it's very slow. But I mean, maybe you could drop one of these off closely, stealthily, and you could actually do a lot of damage. So let's release it. So we turn the gravity cube on and you can just see it's instantly cutting through the armor. It just keeps going. It is absolutely devastating just melts a path straight through a ship. Now, you could use this for all sorts of things. You could use it for a boarding torpedo. And, I mean, it's, it's technically not stopped. If that would have stayed straight, it would have just kept going. But just look how dangerous that thing is. The only problem is the speed. Just check how slow it's actually traveling. I mean, it'd be very hard to not intercept that. I mean, the bulletproof glass might help it a little bit, but I very much doubt it. Anyway, let's move on to testing it on some thick layers of armor. Let's get a little bit more technical, and let's see how far it can actually go. So we've got 38 layers of armor here, and then we have these marking out intervals of three. And basically the idea is to see how far it'll actually get through this armor. So we'll start this thing up. Just add that gravity artificial mass block, off it goes. Now, I know it's not very centered, but that might be perfect for this experiment because we can actually see it as it cuts through. So look at that, wow. That's doing a really good job. I was not expecting something that good. That's 38 layers of armor it's cutting through, and it just keeps going. Wow. The problem is, though, is getting that inside the ship. I mean, if you can't, you're not going to be able to... That, that's 38 layers of armor, and it's still going. Now, that is absolutely amazing. But the only problem is, is it's very slow. You can just see how slow it would trundle towards a target, so you'd have to release this from a ship or something at the very last second almost have to be above them and then if you dropped it above them as well the gravity on their ship would pull it down and you could also probably have like a double bonus feature but that's amazing that, that's almost i think that's more dangerous than the twag to be honest the only problem is it's speed the twag has more speed over it so you're losing one advantage to take another so this is probably what you wanted to look at heavy armor now how effective is it against heavy armor now the creator has told me in the forum thread that i need to turn this thing up i need to basically turn the gravity power down so it goes slower now making this weapon any slower makes it a very debatable weapon to use but i'm going to show you shortly a practical application for it so we need to turn the actual acceleration down to 0 0.5 so we just adjust that set there and one more please there we go now we have it all in place all we have to do is activate the cube and the cube is around the front and all we do is whack that block on and it should begin its nasty work of melting through the heavy armor. But as you can see, it's getting repelled quite easily. It's trying its hardest, but it just can't build up that thrust that it needs to do to penetrate into the armor. So I'm just going to switch this one on. This one hasn't actually got the amount that we need. So hold on, we'll turn that block on. And that one is affected by the field of the other one. So that one went completely crazy. So that's as far as we got with the first test against heavy armor, so not very effective at all. Anyway, let's look at a practical application for using a weapon like this. So you're probably trying to wonder what sort of situation a torpedo like this would actually be that useful. Well, I've mounted it underneath. Just imagine that I actually had a bit of a bigger hangar door. Sadly, this ship just had to be retrofitted quickly to be able to hold this warhead for this demonstration. But we're coming in. We're going to get locked on very soon by them gun turrets. You see how they're tracking. They're engaging us already. Now we just need to be careful, we need to bring this to a reasonable speed, we're moving at 50. Just keep our torpedo intact. Got flak coming up everywhere, oh, getting nervous about that bulletproof glass is holding. Let's get through their defences. Now they're doing some damage. Now we need to drop this thing quickly. Oh no, missed the button. Luckily, the machine guns are weak against us, and I have time to maneuver into position. 
Right, so we just enough to put that thing down here. Yes, you, your machine guns do nothing to me. And then we're in position. And we begin the gravity drop. Oh, damn it, we forgot to put the gravity generator on. This, this, this battle wouldn't go very well. So the torpedo is going down. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm stuck in my own bloody cockpit. Oh my, well I took it, I take it the torpedo kind of worked. Yeah, it worked very well. Almost too well. Anyhow, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.